All right, watch friends. I got another one. We'll see. I don't know if this one's that great, but uh, it should be fun. All right. Oh, and I'm wearing my, my Venger, what, Seaforce, I think it is? I can't remember. All right. What is this? Okay, I think it's an Aspen. All right. I think it's fairly a cheap one, but we'll see. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like that. That's nice. Wow, very slim design. Nice, fantastic. All right, let's see if I can find a video on this, this watch. Otherwise, we'll just get right into it. निखिल ने कैसे जाना कि वाइफ को क्या चाहिए <laughs> जानना चाहिए <laughs> प्यार के इशारों पर चलने का फल मीठा होता है समझा करो एस्पन वॉचेस सो I put it back in the box because I wanted you guys to kind of see one of the things that I was talking about. It's a decent, decent watch for the price. Um, but here's some of the issues. It's uh, quality control is not great, right? So this was stamped in, improperly because look, it, it doesn't even go on that way. It only goes that way. You open it up and it's like that. This can't go that way. So, uh, just one of those things um, worth pointing out. Now this watch, I paid 50, $53 shipped. So it's not, it's not bad, right? Like it's, it's not, it's not a bad deal. And as you know, this is the Aspen, I introduced it in the beginning. Um, it's a nice watch. It's a classy looking watch. It's not bad, um, but it is not a very expensive watch. It's, it's uh, very inexpensive, uh, water resistant, don't even know if I can find the specs I will list it up here on the right um, yeah so my guess is that this is probably does it even say it on the back I'm kind of racing through this um, no it doesn't even say it on the back <clears throat> so this is my last video before Thanksgiving. <laughs> I have about, believe it or not, 20 watches that I've already started videos on, but I haven't completed them yet. Uh, and this was one that I just sort of wanted to get out of the way. Uh, I won't be making two videos uh, this, this, this week because it's Thanksgiving and I have a lot of family coming over. But I'll start knocking out over those, those, those other ones. But <clears throat> either way, I wanted you guys to see this. Um, at least this one, one last one. So happy Thanksgiving for those of you in the United States and I think Canada celebrates Thanksgiving also, uh, or something like it, but it is uniquely a U.S. holiday. Um, so that's what it is. So it's a nice watch, right? Um, you can see the face is kind of interesting. It's got sort of a, uh, nice textured look. It almost looks like wood or sand, um, and it does have a sub dial, obviously at the six o'clock location, you can see it does in fact work. Uh, it's it's a nice style. It's very classy for if you've got uh, a suit on or something like that, you know, not something that was uh, like a nice black suit. This is for something if you've got, I don't know, like a blue suit on, <laughs> if it makes sense. Um, it, it's kind of nice. Or if you're, you're wearing, I don't know, like if you're wearing shorts and, you know, khaki shorts and maybe some blue uh, loafers or something. It is a leather strap, uh, not the highest quality. You can see, you can probably even start to peel it off. Not that I would want to, but it does have the uh, the threading on the ends, which does help. I always like to see that, um, so that's important. Um, it's monogrammed on, let's see, it's, hard to, it's hard to see that on the side there. Let's see if I can get this out. Yep, it's monogrammed on the on the side. On, on I'm sorry, on the buckle, 
Um, it's on the back as well, and of course on the face, but that's pretty much it. You don't really see anywhere else. Again, this is a very inexpensive watch. Um, I definitely think I got my money's worth for this watch being $53 shipped. Uh, I can say that um, it's a good price, right? So like if I had to, if I had to guess, now the MSRP, I'll, I'll put that in here somewhere. But if I had to guess what this watch felt like, I would probably say not too much more than 50. I mean, it's not just by the weight, of course, but just sort of the look and feel. I would say maybe, maybe $69, you know, 70, 69, $70, like $69.95 at uh, Macy's. Um, that's kind of like what it feels like. Now, it is very reminiscent of sort of an older style watch, and, and I think that was the intention. And it's nice and classy, and it's not too small. I'll do the measurements later. But you'll notice a lot of things about it that are cheap, right? The watch strap, it feels good. It's not bad, but it is fairly cheap. Now, you look at this, and you're like, oh, screw down crown, right? So, look, I even screwed up. Uh, I'm sorry, screw down, um, uh, screw down case back. I even screwed up because I tried to remove it. And then if I, you look really carefully, let's see if I can see it. There, right there, see that? Where it comes out? That's actually where you pop it off. <laughs> so it's just a snap-in case back. It is not, in fact, a screw-down crown. So I scratched the case because I was trying to do it and obviously it didn't turn. It just spun and yeah, so unfortunate. Um, but it does have a good seal, so I am not completely distraught. Um, I will show you I, uh, it's uh, when I was putting it back that, in fact, you do have to snap in. And I have to say, that is a case press, and I really like it. It's a fantastic case press. Um, I bought it pretty inexpensively, but it's much better than that handheld one that I've used in the past, which I'll also put a picture of right here. Um, so, all right, let's get into some weight so you can kind of see. It doesn't weigh a whole lot. It's, uh, again, it's kind of inexpensive, so I'm not expecting too much from it. Not that weight necessarily means value, right? So 36.8 grams, and that's to be expected. It, it, it feels like it. Um, let's do the measurements. Let's say 42. No, not even. 38. I'm off. 20 lug. And, okay, this is going to be... So now it's thicker than it normally looks. I'd say about 12. Man, I am so bad at this. Eight and a half. <laughs> All right. And lug to lug. If anyone's interested. Forty. 40.5. So there you go. It's not bad. Um, the movement, and I'll put a picture of the movement right here next to it so you can see. The movement is not bad. Um, it is it is a Chinese movement, but it is one of the better ones, right? There are some really garbage Chinese movements that aren't even labeled. They are just super cheap, right? Various um, knockoffs of the Seiko PC32A. But this one is a Sunan. Uh, you can actually see the picture. It is, in fact, a Sunan movement. So that's it's not bad. You know, Sunan makes some some of the higher quality quartz movements. Now, China doesn't necessarily bother so much making quartz movements unless they're just doing cheap watches. And the reason why is because the uh, Japanese movements are so inexpensive. Um, even though the Chinese and the Japanese tend to uh, are kind of, I don't know, I'd say at odds um, with each other, just like uh, perhaps India and Pakistan is sometimes, right? Or uh, Argentina <laughs> and uh, the Maldives or, um, you know, whatever it's, I'm sorry, not Maldives, um, the island, I'm sorry. Uh, anyways, yeah, so they usually just go buy Japanese movements rather than make their own, unless it's like a really cheap watch. And you guys have seen some of those like ridiculously cheap ones that I've that I've shown you. Let's see if I have one. No, I don't even have one. I think I threw them out. But yeah, so this is actually a quality uh, Chinese movement. 
and uh, I say that meaning that as a good thing. It's 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 not bad. I mean, you're getting decent quality. So for for fifty three dollars, I got my money's worth for this watch. Um, water resistance. Uh, I think we talked about it already, but uh, I'd have to say based on everything I see, probably. I wouldn't put it more than three ATM. I think if you were pushed in a pool and you got out, uh, this watch would be fine. Can't say so much for the watch strap because it's leather. It is definitely genuine leather. <clears throat> but uh, I'm, I'm gonna give it a three ATM score. They didn't even bother. Uh, three ATM, I wouldn't, you know, you can do the dishes with it. I don't know why you would, but it is what it is. So I can't think of anything else. Yeah, let's, let's check the loom. I don't think you can really see too much. But I will put a picture next to it. It doesn't even really light up. I'm just expecting those two hands to light up and that's that's it. But I'll put that right there so you can see. So, all right. Well, if you have any questions about this watch um, or would like to see more like this, then leave comments below. If you like this video, please click a like. Uh, and as always, please subscribe. I really appreciate it. I don't make any money on this. I usually just break even when I sell these afterwards. It's just for fun. Uh, I enjoy doing these videos. So, um, all right. Once again, happy Thanksgiving to those of my buddies in America and apologize for the day off for the rest of you who enjoy my videos. Thank you.